Ladies and germs, welcome back to Worst First. This episode is going to be freaking bananas, you guys. Okay, first of all, I have my husband here, Mr. Tommy Lee. Everyone knows that. Hey! And then I have Tommy Lee 2.0. MGK is in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so happy. Thank you so much for Thank coming you, through, Thank dude. You, Tommy. It's so nice to have you here. He just starred in the dirt playing my husband. Fucking killed it. If you haven't seen it yet, it's on Netflix. It's everywhere. It's actually like what? It got the highest audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes online. The highest audience rating. Out of any movie. The power's in the people, man. Dude, the power is to the people. You guys have the power, and we're so grateful that you've taken your power and decided to tune into this today. So we got some crazy stories for you. Obviously, we all know, for those of you that are new, Worst First is about your first worst experience. It could be a dating experience. It could be fucking. It could be uh, your worst first blowjob. It could be your worst first <laughs> job. It could be your worst first time shitting your pants. Like, obviously, oh. we've all had a couple of those. <laughs> oh. oh, I think we struck a chord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, my first, my first. Did you shit your pants? Uh, Warp Tour, dude. Dude! Oh! At Warp Tour? Uh, which is like the, the hottest. The worst place, yeah. Most. Was no FX playing? <laughs> not this, no, nah, not this tour. This tour was, who was playing on this? Who was like one of the OGs playing? Um, Oh, New Found Glory. Oh my God, New Found Glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Good Charlotte. Ne the next year after next this. Year. Did I shit it on stage? No, I, it was right before. Were you oh, playing? Dude. Were you scared? You were nervous? I shit myself. I Dude, was furious. What do you mean? I was no. like, what? what made oh, you... why? Oh, what made me? Sh yeah. Uh, do you know when you? It was like when you. Uh, you were nervous. No, I was still drunk from the night before. And oh. You're just like on. You're, and and but the thing, this is what happened at Warp Tour. When you're a new band on Warp Tour, they put you on at 12:40 p.m. You know what I mean? Like 1 In p.m., 1:30 p.m. These are all times that we're waking up. So when you wake up still drunk and you're kind of all <laughs> over the place and you're like being rushed to the stage and you're just like, but I haven't. I haven't done, uh, okay, so, okay. There's just like a lot of shitting and pissing and fucking and slobber and like that's what the music business is, right? That, like, is, that is all the music business is right there. Right? And that's then a couple in, songs, and a but couple mostly. Songs. Yeah, 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 and some hits, yeah, 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 and some soft hits and then yeah, most of it's just shitting and bodily fluids and. One more shit story, so. We don't oh, care about my, my, my God, shit I'm stories. Oh my God, I'm dead, I love it. So, uh, God. By you, the way, you, like no shame, guys, no shame ever. Yeah, clearly, no one gives a shit, point. we're all gonna be dead one day, go ahead. <laughs> True. So one of my, I think this was, this might be my first. Um, you, can, it doesn't matter. You can talk whatever yeah, you want. Right. You can literally say anything okay. on here. Uh, so this might, I, this was, I think, one of my first anal experience. Oh, this is gonna be my good. God, here we uh, go, ladies and gentlemen. So this, so this girl is, um, this girl comes over. She, uh. She's she's she hits me up for a booty call at at about two two in the morning. Um, <laughs> Dead. She's leaving the club. She's like she's drunk. I'm like oh please please don't. You're like really you're really drunk. Just don't come over here. This is one of those people that when she's drunk she's like mm, messy a lot messy yeah. So her friend messes with my, one of my friends. So she ended up at the house anyway, mm -hmm. right? So she came and um. So I'm like, all right. And so she's she's chilling and she's like, I'm on my period, so I can't. Fuck. But she's like, I really want you. So like uh, sticking to my butt. Sticking to my butt. What, so, like, what's the other, other option? Holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I'm uh I'm new to this at the time. I'm very excited. She has a she has a a, a, a juicy booty. Big juicy booty, really like pretty pink ass Ooh, crack, nice, which is awesome. Nice, nice. Um <laughs> And, I, you know, I, I, put, I put it in, we start going, and she, and there's a, there's oh a point, there's a point where I, I, I popped out, I popped out, right? And, um, sorry, I'm like reliving this. All You're like going to throw up. And, and, and I, and I think nothing, I popped out, right? Yeah. And then I. Look down. Put it, put it back in. Yeah. I started smelling something. I'm like, all right. <gasps> oh, no. And. But you no. know, so 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 I so I, I hurry up, I finish off. I'm kind of like I was kind of over it at this point. I get up to go to the to go to the bathroom and just wash all the stuff. And then when I come back, I see her hand like this real quick. And she was like, you know, I, God, this is so when people Facetime you that like you don't even have their number saved and you're just like, dude, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'm never gonna answer this. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. 
so I saw her do this with her arm, and I was like, man, that was weird. Like, yeah, what was that? You what okay? was that about? It was because it, it was all dark in the room, you so you can only see like figures. You know what I mean? So you just saw like <laughs> this, and I didn't really think nothing of it, right? And so like I, I went to sleep. Uh, she went home. I, I I remember waking up and just being like, man, it smells like shit in here. Stop. Uh, it, it, Your in my room, room in my, like shit. So I was like, this is weird. And I went over and I'm looking, I'm, look, I'm looking everywhere. And then I remember that, that her arm movement. So I was like, looked in the direction of where her arm movement. And I picked up my backpack. There's a giant piece of shit. Get the fuck out. I swear to God, Are you dude, serious? I'm like, yo. She threw her turd threw in her your turd. backpack? Oh my God. What the? This is... All right. Fucking this has got to be the gnarliest studio. one that has been on this podcast. That is fucking disgusting. That was bad, man. And what the yeah. hell? Yeah. Why would, look, wait, first of all, if I shit and in the bed, I would never throw it in a backpack. You got to acknowledge it. It's like, all, because we're all cute, grown and human yeah. and I get shit. And, and, and I will say this for, for those out there curious and, you know, <laughs> wanting to get down like that. I, I've learned through my porn star friends that yeah. that enemas are just very crucial very just, crucial clean for those the, who don't know cavity. just clean your cavity out yeah. with an enema give everyone a great time yeah enjoy it yourself without having to worry about Dude, letting things out logs it's flying like, out it's like don't just if you have to shit don't do anal that's like literally or it. that like what like, a weird like, it was like weird. dude, you had a giant turd in there like that was <laughs> odd like you shouldn't have been. Yo, doing it was that. brewing, and you still let him stick it in. It's crazy. Crazy. And oh you my threw god! It. You couldn't even pick it. I was. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> you fucked the shit out of her. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! All right. My I god. can't. I cannot. Yo, did you ever see that? Did you ever see that meme where it's a girl's butthole and it's like the X-ray of it and it's a turd with a smiley face and a dick going in and it's like, hi, what are you doing in here? Oh my god, no, but it gives, I'm sure that's what <laughs> it's my. It's literally a turd smiling and a penis meeting face to face with a turd <laughs> being like, hi, what is you doing here? Oh fuck. That's what happened to you. Okay, I know. so fucking disgusting. And another thing, if I fucking threw my turd in your backpack, I would take your motherfucking backpack with me. Oh yeah, I would like, never let me discover that later. I'd that's be like, like murdering someone yeah. and leaving the knife at the crime scene. Yeah. Like, why would you yeah. do yeah. that? Or jam it in the pillowcase, wrap it up, put it in your purse. I don't know, like just. There's a million other ways to. I would have wrapped it in my own underwear and put it in my purse. Like, what yeah. the fuck was this bitch thinking? That was bad. Okay, so what happened? Did you text her and be like, "Yo, you you left your turd here. Do you want to come pick it up?" <laughs> you, you take a picture of it. What is this? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? This is not a fucking candy. She bar. moved to Atlanta and we never spoke again. Oh my god, you didn't even text her to confront her. I con I had to confront something much worse. That morning when I right that was so I, that was I, disgusting. I, yeah. Did you just throw the whole backpack away? Yes, of course. <laughs> I, I threw every, I threw everything. It was on my carpet. It. it was I was just like oh. Uh. <gasps> it was on the carpet. I mean, well, where where it was, it when you pick it up, obviously it leaves like stuff on the yeah. furry parts of the carpet. Yeah. So like, uh, it's all gotta go. Ew, dude. I'm so gross. I'm yeah, so man. sorry that happened to you. It's okay. I'm really sorry I had to share that. No, actually, no, that's I think a, a lot really of people. Wonderful Worst that's first. a good worst first. People will relate to this though. Worst first. Is there like a? Can I do a a not gross worst? Yeah, first? of course you can do whatever you want here. Literally, you can do whatever you want. Anything. Like uh, anything goes. We don't care. First time I gave Rook acid was funny. Oh my god! Oh, this god. has got to be good. Yeah, I, 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 I want to yeah. hear that story. And for, and, and for those of you that don't know who Rook is, he's in the other room and he's uh, Colson's drummer. And he's a fucking little badass. So. Yeah, he, yeah. He Please it. share. Wait, Rook, you want to just come? Does just come, 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 in? come, come, come in. in. It's, it's kind of funny. In. Come in, dude. Rook was about to work out before I snatched <laughs> him to come out. here. So don't. Yeah. You know. Come there on, dude. Is. Get in on don't the podcast. Judge, don't judge his shorts. No one's judging anybody. <laughs> You're good. Okay, so we got Rook here. He's gonna tell. Colson's gonna tell a crazy story about the first time he gave you acid. I, I don't. Well, I don't know if it's crazy. I just know it's the. It was the worst first. For him. For him, you could get. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it oh, was. Oh, no. Because I'm sure you've had some good trips, and I don't know about Brittany. I don't know if you. I've never done acid because okay. right. I'm crazy naturally, so mm -hmm. I don't want to fuck up my brain even more. Yeah, you'd be scary on acid. I'm actually. already, yeah. Uh, you've insane. had some good oh, yeah. ones, right? Yeah. Of course. So his was awful. 
And uh, mine will be awful, yeah. This is, it started with the night before um, we were walking on the bus. Our bus was parked next to a bowling alley in, in one of the Dakotas, like yeah. south or north Dakota. And this kid comes up, and he's crying so hard. Aww. But he's so happy. Oh, happy <laughs> like, too. What's going on, dude? He's like, <laughs> like bawling. He was crying. crying. He's like, <laughs> I just want to give you this. Man. And I take it, and it's a strip of acid. It's, this this what I this what this why I'm like this right now. I'm like, all right, well, like we should not touch touch this. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look <laughs> terrible. Like it makes you cry, crying, and <laughs> it looked like a dope vibe at this at this time. Yeah. So we but we oh. take it, and uh, the next day we wake up and we're in Sioux City, Iowa, or Idaho, yeah, so Iowa, Sioux City, wherever Sioux City is, and um, we're parked outside of a Hard Rock Casino, um, and we are bored out of our mind and by like 4 p.m. we're all like all right man should we just take the acid that we got from last night he's never done it right this and from a total stranger uh, yeah this was yeah this it was, could be anything yeah because i've had i've had a really good one you remember that one time when that when the 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 hitchhiker gave us acid yes, out of his guitar yeah, case a fucking battery pack this of the guitar case. this this oh. one this, this just to relay a good one because good ones exist like there we were at a we were at another like random place and we were Remember when hoverboards were like cool oh, yeah, for like yeah, yeah. three months? Yeah, yeah. dead. And dead. Get rid of your hoverboard if you have one. <laughs> fucking dorks. You look like a fucking, lo- you look like a fucking, fucking loser. Dude, Get rid of it. Loser. Just but, walk. Walking's way cooler so, again. Yeah, <laughs> somehow walking got cooler again. But for yeah. those three months, it was very hot. And he so dope. He had one of these hover- hoverboards. But it, was bef- it wasn't one of the main ones. It was like okay. some like ex- guy who was doing like, I'm going to build the best hoverboard. But he gave it to like us to try it. And dead. He loved it. We Whoa. fucking hated it. It looked uh-huh. like a Jetsons fucking, but it was yeah. one wheel and you had to like. Oh, it was a it. unicycle yeah, one? Yeah, oh, yeah. Those yeah, are yeah. weird. So, yeah, those so are weird. we're walking at midnight to the only thing open in this town, which is a corner store. And it's, a, it, you, it's all the way over there. And we have to walk past this Pizza Hut, but he fucking hovers past this Pizza Hut. And all of a sudden you hear this voice in the corner go, What the fuck? <laughs> and we all start freaking out. We're like, Oh what shit. Happened? And this dude, there's like this, this, this guy with a guitar case and he was just sitting in the corner of the thing and he's freaking out he's like what the fuck man and we're like dude what, what's wrong he's like what what year is it what year is it <laughs> what is and we start telling him and he's like oh dude I, oh dude i thought i was Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm tripping so hard i thought i was in the future man that fucking he freaked because you because because he, he's like what is this minority he report us walking okay. he just saw him like yeah yeah, 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 yeah. we were, we were oh walking behind him God, basically floating yeah. yeah and so we cleared up with the guy but he said he was like yo i'm tripping man i fucking thought of... and we we cleared up and then we start walking and then all of us are like wait and we turn back and we're like tripping on what and he's like oh dude i'm on some l man like i i'm i'm, I'm from colorado like i'm a hitchhiker i i, I sell l to people on the road whoa, whoa. and I was like, all right, that's cool. And he, he was like, you guys want some? We're like, sure. And he takes it out, his battery, <laughs> short. the battery case in his guitar. Huh. And he fucking puts it right here and we do it. We have a fucking great yeah, time. We, we end up changing. Yeah. We changed the, uh, a, a tornado came through that night and we changed the. Like the mat where you take the long ass magnet and you can change the letters on like the sign of like. Oh, the hotel, the hotel marquee. Hotel, yeah, it said yeah. all you can eat buffet and we changed it to all you can eat butt. <laughs> all you can eat butt. I'm yeah. Dead. I'm so, dead. Yeah. So, what the fuck? Wait, you how do you what? do it? You yeah. you take a what? How do you change it? Well, our friend had to to even you have to get one of those poles that yeah, has yeah, a magnet yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. But the hotel has it, and our friend had to hook up with the lady at the front to get it because she was Jeez. a young lady who's in the middle of town. Like these guys come through on this tour bus, she's like, "Oh, this rocks!" Like, yeah. What so the... yeah, you guys have fun with the billboard. Yeah. So by two a.m., she's like, "Dude, fuck it, take this. I like your friend." <laughs> yeah, she's like, "As long as he eats my ass, you guys can yeah, change yeah, it." So yeah, we went out. Yeah, we were changing it to all you can eat. But anyway, that was a great trip. And it was yeah, great yeah. acid. Yeah. That was great acid. What does a great trip consist of? Because I've like never that, done that, acid. Like that right there. Like, like just, you're just having fun. If you're having fun. You're saying yes to things in the sense of like. You know, you're not overthinking. You're not like too tired. You're always just kind of like fuck it. You feel happy. Yeah, you're happy. Do you see weird shit? Yes, and I'm gonna get to down the bad one. Oh, so this is so the oh boy. so I give him this shit, and he's you know because we're doing this is a tour where we promised to do acid every day. It was a terrible tour, but we were like at this time I was like yo, I'm gonna wake up and we're gonna do this every day. Every day. And that, that's I, interesting because Ozzy Osbourne <clears throat> told me that he did when he's in Black Sabbath, did it. 365 days every day just to see what it would be like and now you see him he's like yeah yeah 
Well, I did this like 30, 30 days, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay, like 30 days. Yeah. If you do it more than seven times, you're clinically insane. Oh well, I, I'm I'm long gone then. That was a that was that was just that tour. <laughs> that is. wasn't the There's other the times in my life. Wow. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I, so it's crazy. I give him this shit because he's like, "Fuck it," like I'll I'll try it. And so we give him it. I guess there's some called like analog acid or something yeah. with like weird numbers where it's just like a bad bad acid, like mm. bad like very poorly man made. Bad chemicals, all stuff like that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's some person out there who's gonna call me out on me saying the wrong term, but whatever. Go take some bad acid. Yeah, yeah, asshole. fuck you. Yeah. Um, no one cares. Uh, so he takes it. And we go outside. It starts raining. All the raindrops to all of us like start turning into worms. Ew. And we we immediately start being like, and I'm freaking out because I'm like, yo, this is first time, and I'm like, oh, I'm freaking no. out. I'm like, shit. And so we we end up hopping on a train. <laughs> Oh, Let's just, right. two, trains. two trains, moving fucking freight train. trains, running in the rain, in the rain, chasing the fuck. Yeah, like, could have yes. slipped off the metal and all, Wait, clearly died. Wait, why did you jump on the? You jumped on the train? Our, yeah, we just yeah. were like we were tripping. We were, were so fucked up. The bus was right next to a fucking train track, so it was like the bus, train track, parking lot, Hard Rock Cafe. It was like all this weird. And shit. So like, you know when you hear a train coming and you're like, right the, like yeah. we were, we're like, like, oh, oh shit, go. the fucking trains coming. Let's go to the train. So we get Wait, the train. Wait, did you know Nikki do yes. this? Yes. Yep. Yo, you guys are this is so wonderful. similar. Okay, go ahead. We'll and, tell this story. And then we, we somehow get back to this parking lot again. We walk into the casino. And I, tell me if I'm lying on this part. I swear to God, Dude, every, know you know what I'm about to say? Yes, every star. person, and I don't even know how we all felt at the same time. Every person turned into the, you know in Star Wars when you walk, when they walk in the bar and it's like, do, 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 oh, yeah. do, do. <laughs> no, 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 no. Every person, and we all said it at the same time. It must have been playing. It must have been playing. Like, like, Dude, <laughs> we freaked the fuck out. We started running out there. Because, and you know, because it, it, the fucking casino security is so over, it's like I, I made eye contact with one security guard in there and he went like this on his earpiece thing and I was like, holy fuck. Fucking shit, dude. They know. They oh, know. We gotta get the no. fire. We gotta fuck out right now. Like so, you guys are all fire loaded. I'm know. thinking they're closing in on us. Like, Stop. oh yeah, they're coming to get us. Bro. So we, oh, so we run it. out. Like, There's kids outside our bus because they find out our bus is there. We think we end up thinking they're pirates and that the bus is our ship. And so I we can't. fucking Close the dude. Well, hold up. We ran past <laughs> these kids. These oh, kids yeah, are like, hey, can we get. We start freaking out. They get the fuck away from us. And we get on the bus, start closing the blind stuff, and you can hear them outside like, MGK, you're a fucking dick, man. Da -da 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 -da. But, but it's like if you only knew that we were tripping yeah, our yeah, balls yeah, off. Yeah, like, yeah. dude, it's not you. It's us. We are <laughs> so high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the first time, it's actually us. Yeah, it's us. Yeah, 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 it yeah, really yeah. is us. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, were you, were you scared? Were I was you... being a fucking weirdo. I was going in and out of, like, cool, not cool. Like, yeah. I was Wait. outside for probably like 15 minutes of there. They came out like, yo, what the fuck are you? What are you doing? Get in the bus. I'm like, no, no. Like, I'm just, I'm just out here in the rain. The rain all? feels amazing. Like, he was scared. We were, were all scared. Were you afraid? Were you like having, do you guys I, know what a panic attack is? I didn't is? think were we were coming back attack? from that one. Yeah, no. It was, I didn't think we were coming back from that one. Like, that one was a bad, bad one. <clears throat> How long does that take to go away? That one lasted days. What? That one was like, that, days? One, that one was like, yo, like, it took me. Um, I don't know about you, but for me, yeah. it took me a minute to snap back into like, like I remember of, like a couple of days later, I would turn and my actual vision would turn two <laughs> seconds later. Yeah, like yeah. that. It would, I would turn and then it would take two seconds for me to actually <laughs> yeah. like. Has this happened to you too? Catch up. No. What would I would never do drugs again if this happened to me. Like I would never touch a drug. I'd be so paranoid. Would you ever drop acid again? We we've done it many times <laughs> since, since, since then. But. See, like with, I can't if something bad I have a bad experience. I will never like I'm like you just fuck, don't take it from a crying kid outside of a bowling alley in North Dakota, Dude, that's which is so insane. fucked. You know, and not to mention it had like the wildest fucking picture. On yeah, it was. It thing. looked like it had like a pyramid with the eye or some like weird, the Illuminati something weird, shit. Some weird Illuminati shit. Illuminati I don't even know if it was that. It was like something that was like okay, well this doesn't even look like we should know, do it. Yeah. But you did it anyway. Yeah. Fuck you. And you guys are still here to tell this story. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm actually just talking to your spirits right now. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, whoa. I bet, the, um, I bet the rain felt cool. Right? No. Were you just yeah. like, oh, rain was awesome. That's why I kept like, walking out the bus because I kept being so like, yo, the fucking rain, man, the rain. He's like, no, get on the bus. No, get no on it's the worms. Get on the bus. <laughs> it's worms. fucking worms, bro. You're crawling in worms. Okay, wait. But it's so crazy how similar you guys are. Like, it fucking freaks me out sometimes. Yeah. Like the fact that you played him and your stories are so similar because him and Nikki did the same thing with a fucking train. 
Same shit. Tell, tell this story, because yeah, this is bananas. We're sitting, like, it's the same thing. Like, like we'd always do on a fucking day off or after a show. Nikki and I are sitting in there doing fucking big fucking Texas power rails, fucking cocaine. <laughs> And hey, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki's like, thanks for hey, sharing hey, this story. He's been sober for 13 years. Okay, yeah, anyway. Not that Nikki, but flashback. My Nikki. Yeah. Um, and same thing. Hotels here. There's like a like a you know a big patch of green grass, and then the, the train tracks. And we same thing. We're like, dude, train's coming, and we're doing bumps with our security guy. And Nikki and I just looked at each other. We're like, train. <laughs> And we f- we run out the hotel, and just sprint across the fucking front lawn of the hotel. It's like four Seasons or some shit, and I'm running like a motherfucker. And I'm like, Whoa. I grab onto it. I'm my feet are dragging. I'm like, oh, pull up, get on. I'm like, yeah. And I see Nikki just like, uh. and we don't even know what the f- we're fucking. They don't know where the train's going. We're wasted. Don't we don't know. know where the fucking train's going. Yeah. Nikki finally gets on. Get him on. And we get on, we're like, this is fucking rad. Uh, uh, where are we going? Yeah. <laughs> and and n- nobody has a wallet, money, nothing. We don't, ha- we have no idea what the fuck we're doing. And we're like, uh, should we just fucking bail? <laughs> so we're like, okay. And we're looking out the, the, the thing, at the, you know, the, uh-huh. the window, the, the, the sliding doors. And we're like, now looks like a good time to jump and just did the full fucking they jumped fuck off the, the fuck fucking fuck moving train and just rolled around the dirt and walked back took us probably a fucking hour damn to get back we're just like dude. all because they were fucked up and wanted to jump on a train dude, we just wanted uh, what is it about being fucked up and jumping on trains it's I, awesome. I, I i don't know i don't it's know the loudness and it's moving and you're like yeah i feel like you I can, guys I feel like i can train? do this right now oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 we just wrote, we wrote it yeah. for a you minute and did the, the same and did the same thing they did yeah, we were we like yo where are we going let's yeah. get the yeah. fuck off here and then you're going fast so you're obviously like uh, once you're on you're like okay i actually didn't realize how fucking quick this train was yes we jump off the train i have to realize that i gotta jump off yeah it's moving like a motherfucker and then after a while you realize I, no one knows where we're going. No <laughs> and one's you got have money. Nothing with you. And we're fucked. We got to get off this thing, dude. Get off the train. I wonder if that's what Ozzy's song "Crazy Train" is about. Probably. Yeah, probably. Fucking getting fucked up. That's and, also really funny. Really yeah. fucked up and jumping jump on trains. On a fucking train. Like, that's a good it's one. Kind of crazy All that aboard. you guys have so much in common <laughs> like that. That is fucking bananas. Yeah. Oh my god. The train conductor who. Created all aboard was definitely high on cocaine. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh, he was so ex- he was so excited about his job. He was like, "All aboard! We're fucking out of here. Get on!" Oh my god. Oh my god. I remember. I remember. A worst first was when. You ever got food poisoning on tour? Oh my god. Yes. Or food poisoning, just period, just, like outside yeah. of your the house. Worst. I, oh the man, worst. I got food poisoning in Perth, Australia. Oh, Australia. <clears throat> No, Uh-oh. not my favorite city. Um, no, <laughs> clearly I would. Uh, um, the fuck do you eat? What happened? Oh, yeah. so we, well, it was it was it was chicken. It was chicken. Yeah. So I I ended up three times after that. Once in China, it's, it was a gnarly food poisoning train. stint that happened. Train yeah. that happened yeah. after. Yeah. But in Perth, <laughs> I ate this chicken, and my bass player ate the chicken, and we were all about to catch the flight back to the back to the U.S. The tour's oh, no. over. We were so excited. Me and him had to cancel our flight. All the boys went back. We were so we were so, you were so fucked. Sick. And so we woke up the next day. We at least had one joint, like one fat joint left, and we were so excited. We were like, okay, all we have to do is make it till the evening. Yeah. We'll catch this next flight. We feel better. We have this one joint to, you know, get us through the day. Let's just go find some food. So we go out. Everything's closed. Can't find food anywhere. All right. Mm, weird. It's yeah. like Monday. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Fucking weirdo. weird. So like yeah. everything's closed. Okay, fine. We had a show the other a show, show the night before. Our in our head, we're like maybe we'll see somebody that was at the show, recognize us, you know, yeah. give us something to do for the day. Yeah. <laughs> right when we're yeah. saying that, we pat. There's a guy with a machine gun Kelly hoodie from the show that was being sold last night, uh-huh. and we see him, and I, oh my, oh my God, perfect. He looks like yeah. a young kid, probably has weed, like you know. You're I'm like, like yes, we're good, yes. we're good. So I tap him like, hey man, <laughs> sick hoodie. This motherfucker looks at me like I'm out of my mind and he's like has a backpack he on and he just walks past me stop and me and the fucking bass turn we're like man 
What the fuck is with Perth, man? This place Ew. is so fucked, dude. You He's were like, I got the this shit at Goodwill, bitch. Like, this was only a hoodie that was sold at the show what the night the before. Fuck? So I'm like, dude, you looked at me for an hour and a half on yeah. stage yeah. last night, and he looked me in my eye sockets and just was like, dude, fake Who fan. Who the fuck's this weird? Guy? This dude's Duh. weird. <laughs> just, it's just Whoa. Like, and dipped out. That's crazy. And then we get to the hotel. We're like, oh my god! At least the hotels by the by the water. All that they were talking about their jellyfish yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, right. Let's just go down, blow some time, and just smoke the weed and just catch this fight a little bit. We go down. This motherfucker lost the weed, man. So we had nothing to oh. smoke. The fans didn't even recognize who the fuck we were. Dead. Missed our flight. All our friends are in America. We're stuck in Perth. The ocean was filled with jellyfish. Ocean you couldn't was even filled take with jellyfish. Couldn't even like fucking murder. Oh, yeah, true, murder true, true, jellyfish. True. Like How ready to fucking kill. Everything like, in Australia can kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we yeah. had been there so long. It was like everybody was like, "Yo, really no, ready it's to time go. to go home. Like right. ready to go get back home." And that's man. a gnarly flight. That's so like, like a twenty-four hour flight. When I heard that he had canceled the flight to stay there another day because he was that fucked up, I'm like, "Yo, he must be really." Really, really sick. fucked up because like to stay there that even an extra day was like yeah all right man oh, do you did man. you did you get get help like did you go to an urgent care or anything or did you ah, just ride it out you just ride it out you're a fucking champion i didn't know you could do anything i thought you just had to do it, it happened to me in china too yeah. well sometimes you can get like a uh, like fluids like an oh, iv oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's crazy. So you just were so sick and then you just couldn't do anything. Yeah. about it. And then Friend lost the weed. That sounds terrible. How did your boy lose the weed? The dude, it was in his fucking ear. You know what I mean? It was like, dude, well, we Walking walked, we walked eight there. miles. Oh. Of course that thing's gonna fucking flop out. You hold on to that with your life. Got That's it. our last oh resort. Oh the wind my blows. God. <laughs> okay, attention to anyone who lives in Perth. Get your shit together. Uh, if he's walking down the street, make sure you say hi. <laughs> Like, yeah, and, 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 if you, like, and if you and if you find that concert, joint, like, send it back. If you find the joint, please yeah, send it back. Somebody mail the joint back. <laughs> we got another another uh, topic here is first job, which is what we like to talk about at worst first, because obviously all of us weren't born into where we are today. Mm -hmm. We were born most of us into squalor and had to work <laughs> our way up the fucking <laughs> shitty chain of life <laughs> to get where we are. Um, and so we've all had to dig ditches and work at McDonald's and fucking flip burgers and, you know, that's just life. So obviously we know you grew up in Cleveland. Mm. What was that like? Gnarly. Right? Because you're a very, white guy mm. and you're like, and you rap. Yeah. I was on the east side. I was predominantly black. Right. So it was like, it was, it was a, it was a, I was a rare sight at that time for sure. Did you get your ass kicked? Fuck yeah. All Especially the time. when you wanted to be a rapper. It just yeah. wasn't, that was, that, at that time it just wasn't cool. It was only. Yeah. Black, Eminem, black you know rapper. What I mean? That yeah, was, only was only white, yeah, only white doing guy. it. Like, yeah. Yeah. This, you really had to like fight for your right to even. To spit. party. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> so I like, <laughs> I mean, oh, even my job, my first job was a cart boy at Dave's supermarket. What is a car? Oh, go get the carts in the parking lot? Yeah, but this parking lot was a good, it was a dangerous parking lot. Stop. <laughs> so there like, were drug deals and like, prostitution. Like, yeah, for stop, sure. stop. Dodging bullets. Like, all, the, the, the carts also had those automatic lock things on the wheel when you leave the parking lot. So but people, people would them. still just take them all the way down stop. the block. Like, and <laughs> They'd be like, this is my house. The, the block where I had to go yeah. grab them from was so gnarly. And like, you had to go down the block to <laughs> yes, get the carts? they wanted their carts back. And I would also, uh, the cart boy doesn't just do that. He also like helps people with their, gro like load their groceries in their trunk oh, and stuff like that. Oh my God. So that was cool. So anytime you saw someone with like a Louis purse or something, you knew they would give like a nice like $5 tip or $10 tip. So you would only help the people that looked rich? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you gotta take cart opportunities boy. where you get them. Cart boy. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that should be the name of your next album. Cart boy? Motherfucking cart boy, bitch. Rise to the top. Well, okay, so you were a cart boy mm, when you were like, what, 15? 14. 14. Wow, mm -hmm. started young. Started work young. At, good work ethic. Yep. All right. And then after cart boy, what was your next job after that? I worked at an airbrush store. An airbrush? Like paint this airbrush is back when paints? It, like airbrush, like back, like, uh, like you know, the ones who do like RIP. You know, yeah, yeah, like t-shirts. Like, 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 oh, when so someone like, died. Yeah, so yeah. like, oh, yeah, so you guys yeah, were in yeah. big business in Cleveland. Big business in Cleveland. Like when I was at that, because all the dope Damn. boys shopped at our. They, so whenever one, one of theirs would die or something, or like they if it was, or if one of theirs would get locked up or something, they'd all come in and get like thirty free whoever shirts. Or, you know, like you know, free, yeah. free, blank. You know, whatever. yeah, free, free, whoever's name, free, it was. whoever's yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like. With their picture all shitty quality, yeah, like yeah, from like the worst camera ever. You're like, what is that? Is that a potato? Oh no, that's a human. Yeah. Yeah. 
And so I, yeah, that was that was funny. My, I worked at Bed Bath and Beyond. No. Get out of here. No. <laughs> no Stop. fucking way, dude. Did you just say that? <laughs> yeah. You worked at fucking Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah. But you worked it, in the Beyond part. Oh, not you, the bed and bath. Part. Oh, you're hip. Because look, they they <laughs> oh. were. What, this is what this, you were in the they back. were so strict about. Like they were like, yo, we don't use the word internet in here. We use beyond. Stop. The beyond store. Stop. Don't call it the internet. I had two weeks, dude. That job was so intense. They made me oh, train fuck. for two weeks, dude. To work there. To work there. They're like, like, which fucking soap is this? You got yeah. five seconds. Dude, oh my god. It's so gnarly. And then I, I was working. Oh man, I can't believe I was doing this. I was They're like, the, smell these sheets. The what register, counter they? And what people would come through, you know, Bed Bath and Beyond is so hot with the coupons. Yeah, they love and their coupons. People take so oh, much pride yeah. in the coupons, yeah. dude. When you're at the register, those computer. I don't know if they've updated it now. Current Bed Bath and Beyond employees, but like when I was on <laughs> yeah. it. And you this don't and you don't need to know that now. Was ancient. Okay. Like this thing when you had to type in the coupon mm -hmm. stuff, I I would be like, Bruh. "Oh hell no. You had to manually type dude, in the numbers." It, dude, I'm talking about so not like I was the worst choice to ever work at cuz everyone's very chipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was yeah, very yeah. like, "Homie, like fuck these coupons. You're going to save $2." Like, yeah, it's not worth it, dude. You want to waste my waste two wasting my time, time yeah, your yeah, time like, yeah. "Let's go." Like, I Dead. Dead. Um, They're like, he's fired. Get him out of here. I was. We I was, I was fired very quickly. Did you get fired? Yeah. yeah. What did you get fired for? Uh, flirting with coworker and, and the like, Dead. or basically like just never, never, basically never being by my register or your steps. They call it your steps. Your steps? You know, like in front, you know, in front of the register, they have like all those things they sell. Like yeah. Gummy bear. Yeah. You know, the shit they get you with on the way out. Glass bear with gummy bears filled inside. They're like, you need like, this. As seen on TV, coffee mug. Or as like, seen on so TV. All, all those steps. <laughs> so you had to clean your steps and be by your steps and be loyal to your steps. And I was always in the aisles talking to somebody. I'm so dead. Yeah. I cannot believe you fucking worked oh. at Bed Bath & Beyond. In oh Cleveland. In Cleveland, I know. That's just really funny. It's so funny. Oh my, how long did you last there? Like two two months? Yeah, something like that. Something like yeah, that? Yeah, something like that. That's insane. Chipotle, Chipotle. You worked at Chipotle? Yeah. What? Chipotle. Dude, you've um, had all the jobs. Well, well, like on the line, like wrapping or so like, I, 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 my burritos burst every time I wrapped Stop. it. You're like, I'm trying to give you the most for your money. So every time, yeah, um, oh. yeah. So they didn't put me on there. They put me at the beginning where you ask, like, you know, what you want, like, yeah, yeah, bowl, yeah, yeah. tacos. What the fuck do you want? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I, there was a, <laughs> I, in my head, there was a joke I always had about like just like the, like I knew who would order a veggie bowl. Oh, because you could tell by you how. You just tell like, you. Be, they come in with like a they long look. beanie, and you're just like, you fucking gonna order it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make sure there's no animal cruelty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I yeah. got you. Oh wow. Yeah, dude, you're oh good. my god. Get out of here. Yeah. Lot, you got a lot of jobs. I, I will tell you the, the 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 my worst from that from Chipotle my worst from Chipotle story is. Oh my god. You know those metal buckets that all the ingredients are in? Yeah. Right? So like sour cream's in one of those, right? right? So you have to clean that at some point. And you clean it with this hot high pressure high pressure water. thing. And yeah. so like I'm talking about when that when hot sour cream steam <laughs> comes back in your face. <laughs> oh, dude, That's it's so gnarly. And they they had this radio that played and you know what the hottest song at the time was? What? Mrs. Officer by Lil Wayne. So every time I hear that, wee, 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 I get instant flashbacks of like Nausea. disgusting hot <laughs> sour hot cream. Hot sour cream. <laughs> you yes. know what I mean? Oh you know that's God. bad. There were these wooden steps that you had to take. Like, so when I had to take a. Uh, the alley in the back of our Chipotle, which is also an alley they found a dead body in. Stop. At the, I swear to God. Like, so we would have to take. The, the, at the end of the night, they throw all the ingredients away. Um, I actually have nothing bad to say about Chipotle sanitation. It's very they're clean. It's on point. Yeah, yeah. so good. You can eat there. Yeah. Although they did have a big. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, no, they, okay. they went through some funk. Yeah, they, went they went through some funk. But this is my thing about We're, chickens. They went through some funk about chicken. But this is my thing about chickens. I've never in my life seen a chicken cross a road. <laughs> I've never in my life That's not where I was seen ever. a ever. chicken ever. I don't know how this much chicken exists yeah. to feed our gluttonous bodies yeah i've never i've seen more deer than i have chicken. yeah you never see chicken just walking i've around. never seen a, a chicken, chicken yeah. where are the fucking chickens <laughs> dude that you're feeding us i'm naming this by episode, the millions because i go no, millions millions, millions. I, dude drive to vegas you could stop at every gas station along the have chicken fingers chicken but how is this many people in eating butt chicken. fuck mm -hmm. blank yeah. yeah eating 12 chickens when i've never even seen one 
live chicken. This is a really good point. You come to think of it, you've seen cows. I've seen cows. I've seen deer. I've yep. seen, I've, with as much chicken as I fucking see, I've seen fish. I've never seen a fucking chicken. That is so true. So I won't blame Chipotle for that chicken. Yeah, because fuck, these chickens are being kept. It's those chickens. In a fucking R. Kelly style mansion. They don't Facts. get to see their families. They're fucking all cooped yes. up. Yeah. Like, they got to tell us life is good, but they know they're struggling. Like, free it's, those chickens. Yo, free the chickens. Free like, the chickens. we need some expose on this shit. Like, they say they're free range, but they're really not. Free range. Not. Yeah, not free range. Not at free all. range. At all. Yeah, that's just, just extremely limited range like it's awful that's crazy yeah. so, so you, was that your last job before you my last job was i worked for red bull as an infrastructure my, my manager before she became my manager she was a college student who was a, a wings girl who actually was who would pass out red bulls to people like you know wow and at the time i was living at her mom's house her 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 brother and her mom's son who's also like my brother, he he was fighting in Afghanistan at the time. Oh, wow. So she had oh. a free room. Yeah. And so my manager was like, hey, I believe in this kid. He's this musician. She dropped out of college, by the way. For to, you. To man yeah, so it was... Wow. She had like two months left, so to be fair... Yeah. It's okay. She should have finished. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is she still your manager right now? Yes. Wow. Yes, yes. Man, I'm all, and, my, and like my best friend. You know what I mean? Like That's that, so she, cool. Yeah, I'm, we're, we're still like this. and But the, we... Uh, so I'm staying there, and uh, I got fired from Bad Bath Beyond. Yeah. And I needed a job, and that she got me a job at the, as an infrastructure dude at, at Red Bull, which means like I would load up. You ever see like Red Bull bars or Red Bull tables? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. or like big pallets of Red Bull. Like, right. so I would be the guy who like goes rents the Penske truck, brings the Penske truck to the Red Bull warehouse, loads up all the pallets of Red Bull, or like loads up the DJ booths or the tables, and Damn. I would just Fill bring them, bring them to Bull. the events. Wow. And I would fuck like so I you know I've I've went to I was at a John Mayer concert one time just as the guy who was like bringing the Red Bull in. I'm, dead. The, Re I'm the Red Bull I'm guy. Dead. Like well putting all the tables on the lawn like because he was playing yeah. this big lawn event and I you know like that was me man. Did you see him? Yeah, I see him. Oh, I stayed for sure. I Did stayed. you say hi? No. Oh no no dude I was I was a Red Bull worker. I'm dead. You're like <laughs> yeah, no. you're like you need to no one had anything to say to me. No, no girls, no nothing. I was just trying to catch a free show. I'm the Red Bull I'm guy. I'm the Red Bull guy. Okay, so here's my question. Did you was it like crazy because yeah, obviously when you're not super famous yet, like girls like obviously are so like eh whatever, but then like when you get I wasn't I I, I didn't get girls before I was You didn't get girls. Before I was no girls. Popping. Like when did you get your? When did you lose your virginity? I lost my virginity at fourteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, Same but, as but, you. but 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 you know, right? like few and far between. I'm just saying. I like. I didn't have a prom date. I didn't. I wasn't fucking often yeah. in high school. I didn't go to par. I was. You know. I, was I didn't go like, to either my proms either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. But you could probably have got a date. No, actually. Okay. All right. Well. I I had jaw <laughs> surgery when right. I was in tenth grade because I. We're too good. We're good. Oh, like god. literally some Kanye shit. Like my jaw was wired shut. Oh my god! Hey. <laughs> I could only talk like this through my teeth, oh, that's and wild. I couldn't eat for an entire year. I had to drink milkshakes through my teeth. It was miserable. So I did not go to either of my proms. No, I looked like a fucking swollen chipmunk because like my jaw kept like unhinging. So they had to break it and reset it when I was in like tenth grade. It was the worst. So I had my jaw wired shut. And definitely from, no blowjobs. No blowjobs. Nothing Damn. was coming was in or out of that motherfucker. <laughs> it nothing was, was coming in and out. Nothing. It was the worst. And like, I was so depressed. Like, I wanted to kill oh, myself. Yeah. It was awful. And my face was swollen like a chipmunk. And then I was super skinny because like I couldn't eat. It was awful. Yeah. Damn. No one asked me to prom. No. It was horrible. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. It was bad. It was really bad. But now it's all good. Okay. Yeah. No, it's great now. But it got better. I mean, life gnarly. got better. Guys, life gets better. Just remember that. Like, when you're in a fucking shitty time. The jaw's wired jaw. shut. Nothing's going in and out. You're wired up. Don't forget. <laughs> Good times are coming. Just keep Just on. Just keep on chugging. <laughs> right on here. Even if you can't talk, you can still have a life. It was so bad. I remember, like, my dad felt so bad for me. Like, he, he was like, I'm going to, he's like, I'm going to, he took McDonald's. And he was like, I'm gonna he put it in a blender, a Big Mac, fries, and a milkshake. Ew. And he put it in a blender and he brought it up to my room and he was like, Here, I made this for you. It's so much better than Ensure, because you have to drink Ensure yeah, so you yeah, don't yeah. fucking die. And I was like, What Big is Mac it? Let me see that. 
<laughs> I was like, let me see that. What is that? <laughs> I couldn't talk. And I was like, tried it. And I was like, ew. This is the most disgusting, vile thing. And I was oh, like, what is dude. it? And then he told me. And the I Big almost Mac. fucking threw up. But thank God I didn't because the throw up would have been. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, Whoa. okay. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad, you guys. It was really bad. Um, but now, you know, I'm good. It was crazy. It was really gnarly. By the way, you want to hear something? <laughs> <laughs> He's horrified. You want to hear some Ew, crazy big shit? Through a straw. Yeah. I will tell you guys this, and I've never felt closer to Kanye in my life because you know he had his jaw wired shut when he mm. got shot in the face, right? No, he literally got in a car accident. Did, oh, sure. car accident. Yeah. Oh yeah, fifty cent. Fifty cent got shot in the face, but yes, but uh, continue. <laughs> Rapper. Look, what I almost just saying? made Kanye so much cooler. Um, <laughs> yeah. So he had. So Kanye got in a car accident. He had his jaw wired shut. But here's the crazy thing: you don't realize how important it is that you brush your fucking tongue. Like, brushing your tongue is so important because shit stays on your tongue. So, when I got my jaw unwired Ooh, after, wait. this is this is a year, a year, almost a little over a year of my me not being able to open my mouth, okay? And I could brush my teeth and I have a water pick and shit, but I couldn't get a, a, a toothbrush in there to scrub my tongue. You take, they unhinge your jaw and you open your mouth, a film about this thick, oh, and I'm talking about for people come that on, can't, come on. Uh, people that can't see this, mm. well, you'll be able to see it is like literally like a half an inch off my tongue of I don't know what the fuck it was, and they scrape That's it disgusting. off your tongue because oh, you can't God. open your mouth. So, just I just can't. literally brush your tongue, guys. Like I brush oh, my, my tongue like a fucking <laughs> psycho. Now, how psycho am I about brushing my tongue now? Yeah, no, I tell them all the time, like, did you brush your tongue? Like, I'm fucking psycho about it because I saw that and I was like, she, oh, what the rough. fuck was that? It was awful. And yeah, it was she awful. got me a, a, a tongue, tongue scraper. A tongue scraper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, I know those things with the little hollow. Yeah, it does like, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. So, because he I, smokes, so he gets like that white tongue, you know? And everyone's like, oh, what is yeah. that? That's a disease. I'm like, no, he's fucking <clears> a smoker. And so I'm, I use this thing and. He, Tommy I would, would never be, be able to be gay. I would be fucking the worst gay dude giving blowjobs ever because I'd be like, Ugh. he has no gag. He has a gnarly gag. I put, put, you, oh, oh, I put the tongue blood. scraper in and I throw. He throws up. up. He can't brush his tongue. He throws I can't. up. He can't put anything I, near. I his take fucking two aspirin and, I'm and like, he throws up. He throws up from everything. I can't. Like he like can't. A, so, like if you put like a whoa. dick even like halfway in his mouth, he would puke. So. <laughs> I'm so glad I have nothing to worry bad. about. Yeah, it's so nice. It's all bad. Yeah, like it's yeah. crazy though. Like he, he'll it's throw up. It's a one-way up. street. Yeah, wow. it's just a one-way one street. street. Yeah, yeah. Damn. But what about yeah. straws? Yeah, can you uh, give straws a are cool. Can you give me the you know, straw? actually, you know what's funny? I speaking of tongues, I before I was ten years old, they had to cut my frangulum because my tongue went. My friend, is uh, the little thing underneath. Oh, the underneath guy. Yeah. The underneath guy. That's what Gene Simmons did to make his tongue. Well, well mine, he mine, did? yeah. yeah. But mine was because mine wouldn't stick out past my bottom row of teeth. So <laughs> until I was 10 years old, I talked like this. Oh, wow. No so way. So when I was 10 years old, I was fucking, I was like, Dad, That's I got, you got, like and my dad was like, dude, my my son can't be talking like this. Like, we got to figure this the fuck out. <laughs> Meanwhile, your dad talked like that. He was like, listen, I don't want okay, the, I don't want the like, that. I don't know why I'm doing my dad's voice on that, but yeah, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we've all had fucked up. What about you? Have you had anything fucked up that you had to have fixed in your life? Fortunately, no, not yet. You mean fortunately? Yeah. You've For been you are born perfect. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. yeah and then yeah. you you were born with a crazy ear. Have you? Oh, guys dude, seen I, yeah, ear? I, hey, dude, I have a crazy ear too. My ears all big and giant. Your ears are too long. Yeah, well, look, yeah, no, well, he's got one, one crazy one. Yeah. You know they can fix that really easily. Yeah, I mean, it's not really easily. What do they do? I don't know. From what I when I asked, I was like, dude, this thing is huge. You it's not like, huge. What's going it just on? sticks out a little. You know what, dude? I never look at Will Smith. He's Look at it from the back, and it's gnarly. I see. I it's never noticed that. What do you say? I never noticed that. No. The giant ear? Yeah. It's not giant though. Dude, <clears throat> thanks for <laughs> thanks for thank, <laughs> thanks for pointing that out. I'll be looking right. Wait, when you did the wait, I'm dead. We're all gonna what be like, what's fuck? up, Dumbo? I mean Colson. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Yo, you, you, know you catching a flight with that ear? What's up? <laughs> Look at this shit. Have you seen okay. Tommy's ear? Yeah, but There's what? A just just the piece missing. The piece missing? It's like Spock. Yeah. But yet <clears throat> when I was born. Yeah, this is funny my, story. <laughs> <laughs> my dad came in and he's got me and he gives, gives me to my mom and he's like honey um, this is bad news um, a mouse bit 
Tommy's ear. Wait, in real life? <laughs> no. But no, he was fu- my he was my dad. With his mom. My oh. dad is a fucking comedian. He named me and my half brother Jerry, Tom and Jerry. So, or, 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 <laughs> Oh, good job. Good job. Yeah, good, good, job. job. good job. That was so, awesome. So he brings Tommy me in, Jerry. and my, my mom sees this, and he, he tells her that a mouse bit my fucking ear. And she's like, ah. She starts sobbing. She's like, a mouse. He's like, I'm just kidding. I'm just like, kidding. Because English wasn't her first language. She was from Greece. She was Miss Greece, Tommy's mom. Yeah. She freaked out. She Speaks no sobbing. English. She spoke no English. She's like, a mouse, oh my God. And she was sobbing. And they had to like calm her down because like, she really awesome. thought a mouse Dude, came in. You and know what's fucking here. rad? We have so many fucking... <laughs> So much in common. I don't even know. Like, you guys are such we got the same person. Ears. We got, yeah. you know, a lot of fucked oh, up cool shit. Oh, yours is the same shit. ear. Yeah. It same is. Ear. Weird. Yeah. All right. That's cool. That's Fuck. so crazy. Yeah, you guys Fucking are the same. Weird. It's actually really crazy. Like, the more, like, and I feel especially close to you just because I, like, love him. So I'm like, oh, my God, he's, like, the same. Like, you guys are, like, the same. Right. Like, if you had a son, it would be, it would me. be yeah, him. Yeah. It would be him. Well, he, he did have sons. Right. Yes. But I mean. <laughs> 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 Shout out to my stepkids. <laughs> <laughs> Love y'all. No, I, I know seen them in the club. I seen no, them in the club the other night. I know. Did oh, yeah. you really? I saw them in the club the other night. I they told Tommy you. this. They, they love were like, you. Uh, and uh, Brandon was like, and Brandon was. Yeah. We were all trash. And he was like, he was like, hey man, take a picture with my dad. Take a picture yeah, with my yeah, dad. Yeah, and he took yeah. a picture with me. Oh, no, but right. I mean, like, I feel like really That's like awesome. though. It's like I feel like you. You're more like what would look like his son would be. Although, like, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's so funny. I I did I did justice on. With, to you on that movie set. You really behind did. the scenes. It was gnarly. It was. It was. It was. Dude, it was wild. So many people have said like, "How the fuck did he get his close friends?" Like, yeah, really close friends, fans. Everybody's like, "How did he just fucking nail you?" I'm like, the walk. And, and I fun. tell I tell everybody, I'm like, you guys have no idea. This man's fucking dedication, and I've known I've known him for a while. Yeah. yeah. But when he called me, he was like, dude, I got the fucking part. I'm fucking playing you. I was like, whoa. He's like, I'm coming over with the script. Yeah, yeah. And we spent we spent several times um, just going over the script. And like, and he's like, did it really happen like this? How did it go down? And like, he wanted to know every single fucking detail. And he's like, I want to make you proud. I'm going to fucking kill this shit. Yeah. And then went to take four months of drum lessons. Like, yeah. I've never seen... I've never seen, amazing. yeah, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's why it fucking turned out so rad. So like good. he fucking just went and grabbed that motherfucker and went, I'm doing this shit. Yep. Yeah, you killed it. Fucking thanks, amazing. thanks, yeah. thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well yeah. Done, baby. hey, 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 hey. Slayed it, man. And with that said, I think this is a good note to 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 call it a call it an end to this podcast it's been a, a wild ride thank you so much for both of you being here the family this is so dope if you guys are not subscribed already please subscribe leave comments like follow us on myspace friendster wherever you can have an internet connection this is worse put us in first. your top eight put us in your top eight if you're not in your top eight this is a problem Fucking uh myspace dude, you hey serious? i heard myspace is coming back get out of here well. anyway anyway thanks for listening guys and we will catch yeah. you next week next tuesday on worse firsts